What is going on everybody? I go by the name of Kari and I wanna thank you guys for joining me here on Sneaker Fetish. Now, if you've recently purchased anything from Adidas up to and including a pair of Yeezys, there's a good chance that you noticed something on the tag that used to not be there. That is this EPC inside right on the size tag. So a lot of people have been wondering, what exactly is EPC? EPC, first of all, stands for Electronic Product Code. And basically it's the same thing as a UPC label. Just like the barcode that you see on your size tag that when you scan it in, it scans that exact pair of shoes. That EPC inside code also is a way of uniquely identifying exactly that pair of shoes. Now they do this with a technology called Radio Frequency Identification or RFID. So this is a retail pair of blue tints. And if you notice on the tag, it says RFID. FID right on the upper right hand corner of that tag. Now a lot of people thought that this was some sort of a special thing that if you scan the code in yourself it would bring up some hidden thing or a message from Kanye West or something of that nature when the truth is it really has nothing to do with you as a consumer. There's nothing for us to do, there's no way for us to use these codes and there really is no way to scan this little QR code. However, overseas in the factories where these shoes are actually made do real contracted factories that are actually contracted by Adidas is they have the ability to scan these little codes in and to keep track of the shoes as they're moving along the supply chain. Let me break down a little bit about supply chain management for you guys that don't know. When the shoe is being made, the shoe is made before the boxes are made. And a lot of times the boxes are actually made in a completely separate facility than where the shoe is made. There's a lot of shoes that can find their way out of the factory through people selling them or people stealing them or some combination of both. So as a means of quality control to keep an eye on the things that are coming in and out of the factory, Adidas has started implementing a lot of security measures to make sure that this doesn't happen in the future, especially for limited releases like Yeezys. This is a way for Adidas to make sure that they're protecting their investment as far as materials, plastics, and everything that goes into making this shoe and to make sure that they don't have to make duplicates or more because some shoes have fallen off the wayside, fallen off the back of the truck or just gotten straight up stolen from the factory. Now here's an interesting question. Why is it that on the blue tent box you have the EPC inside on the tag, but on the beluga box that's not there? I mean the code is even being put on a pair of slides that I just got. Well, your guess is as good as mine. But if I had the ability to talk to Adidas and ask them why they did that, I think that it would have something to do with the amount of shoes that were made. There were a lot of belugas that were made, so to be able to individually track every one of those as many of these as got produced because there were a lot more belugas that were produced than blue tints that were used. So to use that technology on a shoe like this, where there's so many of them, I don't think would be the most fruitful thing to do. Also what I noticed is that on the European versions of Yeezys and on the European labels, they don't always have this RFID chip either. Normally it has to do with shoes that are on their way to the United States or that were slated to come over here into the mainland that end up having this RFID tag on them. So I think that that has something to do with the fear of theft from the shoes as they make their way over into the United States. A lot of times when boats show up from China and they have a set of these on there, if they don't have a way to track these things all the way through the supply chain and check them in at the authorized retailers, they'll wind up you know, falling off the back of the boat somewhere and all of a sudden you see photos of somebody with 30 or 40 pairs of Yeezys chilling. That's usually the reason why. What I do know is that in the future, especially on limited releases, we're gonna be seeing a lot more of this RFID technology as it continues to evolve. We may even see other companies adopting that technology as well. We shall see. That's all that I got for you guys today. Hopefully that gave you a little bit of education about what these little barcodes are and what they mean. If you have any other questions about anything, feel free to drop a comment down below. Let's do a video about it or we can dialogue about it. In the meantime, I wanna thank you guys for joining me here today on Sneaker Fetish. This is the Yeezy Blue Tent. This is the Yeezy Beluga. I go by the name of Kari. And until next time, I'm out.